and tore him at the Hotel Danieli here in Venice, Italy. Um, and this is a luxury collection hotel uh, belonging to a Marriott. And this is a Grand Donovus King Suite 78. And I have to say that they must have renovated this fairly recently uh, because it's it's close to a pristine condition. Um, here we have the the living room, which is actually very spacious in uh, for Venetian standards. Um, you have a TV, of course. So far, complimentary wine bottle with some snacks. And that's uh, <laughs> a couple of. Uh, face masks and a um, rubber clothes and alcohol to keep your hands clean of viruses you have a desk there and of course you have a chandelier um, unfortunately there's no view from this suite so some would actually probably would prefer a more standard room but a uh, but with a view so of course a lot of bubble in the uh, marble in the bathroom uh, we have a bidet and the toilet is here on the other side and some uh, graphic on the wall on the both sides it's a little bit of space miracle turning around here uh, of course we have a shower and here we have a bathtub and I saw that they have their own um, line of bathroom amenities at this hotel we'll figure out later how good they are and there's some uh, Slippers, hair dryer, and extra toilet paper. Um, and this is always, this, I was, I was like laughing. Oh, Italian law doesn't allow us to prefill the mini bar. But I was like, okay, what about Saint Regis in Rome, or let's say Excelsior in Florence? Land have never heard about this law. I don't think that it's a law. It's probably something that the hotel doesn't doesn't want to do. Here we have a bathrobe. So this is very typical. Does that claiming an airline and what else? I'm claiming COVID-19 of everything, service reductions, even though they are mostly revenue driven. So here we have the, uh, the bedroom, comfortable kicking bed, a lot of mirror in the back, and of course, another chandelier. A couple of water bottles and a, a TV. And I think there was a in-room safe on the closet, but otherwise it was it was quite unremarkable. And like I said, unfortunately, there's no really a view of anything from this hotel. I mean, there's definitely views from this hotel, but from this suite, you can see this uh, nice balcony on the other side, which, by the way, that belongs to the Hotel Daniel as well. There's like three adjoined buildings that now form this hotel so there's a lot of uh, extra power plugs wipes tv remote and uh, of course there was the uh, i think the in-room safe was here I'm, I'm pretty lazy at using uh, using them so and air conditioning is actually very good it's almost cold here which is it's nice easier to sleep so again, this is the Hotel Danieli, part of Marriott's Luxury Collection Hotels. Uh, of course, formerly Starwood. And it was the Grand Dondo Suite, 78. And quite lovely looking. Although not many Venetian elements over here, so it almost could be anywhere. So.